merch, man. It's just merch. It's just merch. Ah, it's just merch. Guys, this merch is so good, it should be illegal. Go shop at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com to get yours. What's up, guys? It's May 8th, 2024. In beautiful Big Bear, and we're gonna go for a little bit of a hike. Hey I know, guys. I know you guys have, have probably missed her. I miss you. She was super busy all winter time. Thank yeah, God. Super <laughs> because uh, you know, she works hard and uh, she's built up a nice little business, and I'm super proud of her. So, Thank of course, we miss her. We want, we want her here with us. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go for a little hike along the. Uh, I always forget what this area is called. Um, but it's a it's it, it's a nice wooden path elevated the kissing kind, bridge kind of like an extra long dock that goes right alongside this uh bunch of water right here yeah babe it's called the kissing bridge because people go and take pictures and kiss want to do that no <laughs> yes he does do you see that fish jumping right there oh look at all these bugs flying right above the uh, plant. I don't know if, if you guys can see straight ahead about two feet in front of me. Wow, that's, that's, that's crazy cool. All of them have this. And there's fish jumping everywhere out there. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, babe. It was huge. Fish are jumping. Look at that big old uh, splash he made. Yeah, totally. The ripples. Oh, look at those bugs. Those are gnats. Or what are those? Those are Rachel's. <laughs> Actually, I've, I have no idea what those are. They could be gnats. But yeah, driving on the boulevard over here, there's a, a couple of these plants that are super tall. And every summertime driving by, you'll see loads of those things flying right above it. But yeah, guys, we usually don't get to have this area full of water over here. So, this is, this is great. Or poison ivy. Oh! No, shut up. Yeah. I hope it's not poison ivy because I touched my nose with it. Oh, that's my Rachel. <laughs> I don't think it was poison ivy. If it was that close to the road, they would have probably taken it out. Okay, here it is. Stanfield Marsh Wildlife and Waterfowl habitat so let me you guys might want to hit the pause button so you can read what it says but that's that we got a gazebo right here yeah this is just a nice little walk they got stuff for your dogs nah yeah it's all right yeah it's all right look how big that house is right there <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of these little bugs. Oh, they're all... <laughs> like, look, run, babe, run. Seriously, they're, they're hovering right above you. And they're hovering right above me. Wow, it was like you're the plant. Babe, that's... Cr Hey little duckies. Hey little duckies. <laughs> I saw it. It was like a hair fly. Right above you, like <laughs> thousands of them. I saw it. <laughs> but you took it well. Compared to how you usually do. I don't know what they are. Look at there's a whole bunch right here. At least they're not mosquitoes. Wouldn't that be How do you horrible? Know? Well, because you can tell. There's a whole bunch of different types of flying things right now, like little bees and little flies and whatever this is. It's like three different types that I've seen so far. I did poke my nose with that, that 
whatever thing that I smelled, it hurts. <laughs> Is it bleeding? No, it's not bleeding. It poked me. It like bit the tip of my nose. Jeez, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I already forgot the name of it. Can you believe it? The Kissing Bridge. No, babe, come on, please. It is called the Kissing Bridge. No, no, babe. If they look that up online, they're not going to find it. Please, let me I tell them what what the like. It's a it's a, a a wildlife reserve. Anyways, maybe parents don't want to take their kids to the kissing bridge. You have to think about all these things, babe. Maybe they want to kiss their kids on the kissing bridge. Then they belong in jail. <laughs> Stupid. See, look. Baby. Okay. I typed in the kissing bridge in Big Bear Lake, and it's the Big Bear Lake Bridge. Okay. That's great. I can't, I, can't, I can't believe how much that's water great. there. <laughs> okay, that's great. Somebody hates to be wrong. <laughs> no, you, you clearly missed the no, whole point clearly. there. But not a surprise. That's my wife. I mean, there's a lot of water in here. For the first few years I I lived here, there wasn't anything in here. And now it's it, it's its own lake. It's when really, I first moved here, it was... There was a lot of water under this bridge. And it dried. You moved here about five or six years after yeah. I moved here. Uh, three years. After. So that would mean that you're going on your seventh year living here? I'm going on my sixth. Wow, babe. That's awesome. I moved at the end of 2018. Dang. So you have made it <laughs> a long time up here. It takes a warrior. It definitely does. That's a true statement. A survivor. Because down the mountain, you're you're so used to your to your hey <laughs> hey puppy. So used to your and like I'm not trying to talk smack, but obviously down the mountain services are better, faster. You have a lot more. So when you're used to having abundance like you do down the mountain. Uh -huh. And you come up here and it gets taken away it's uh it's pretty hard at first i mean that's why every every week i was driving down the mountain maybe three or four four days a week just to go get food uh -huh. hey it's flopping again flop again buddy he's doing tricks for us yeah yeah my mom recently when she had come down to stay she said that um yeah. She couldn't believe that I was able to adapt to living up here. I mean, she said she knows that it was really hard for me, and it must have been a huge change. I'm like, of course it was. It's, yeah, huge change. Like, I, I came from Newport Beach, and then living here, it's it's a it's really a night and day type of uh, difference. There's. There's pros and cons every everywhere you go. That's so true. But the food in LA, mmm. Yeah. Beat it. Yeah, there's just can't beat it. so many options. Down the mountain, as I said, with customer service and stuff, the consistency is there. Um, I mean, here everything, not not everything, but so much feels. <laughs> hey, puppies! <laughs> so much feels inconsistent. So that's why I try to refer you guys to what I consider to be my favorite places to go. Um, and don't forget, just because I like it, or if I don't like it, doesn't mean you're not going to love it. So I'll never tell you guys, don't go try that place. I want you to try everything up here because our town needs you guys and it needs the funding. But don't think just because I don't like something that you're, you're going to hate it also. You might love it. So I'm just giving you my honest opinion about everything. Un unfortunately some business owners aren't and don't like it when I don't like their product but again it's my subjective opinion I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm I'm not here to kiss anyone's butt I'm here to bring you guys up here to spend money so I can continue to live here because it's you guys who 
infuse our economy with the, with the fiscal benefits that we need to live up here. And that's why I will always treat you guys super well. Look out for you guys. Try to find the best things for you guys to do while you're here and save you as much money as possible through my suggestions. By the way, guys, they have a few of these benches all along this, uh, this route right here. The path, it continues, but I thought we would merge on down here to the, towards the water. Keep your eye open for snakes, even Obviously. though, even though it, oh, I'm at it the ground. even though it's still early in the season for snakes. It's hot enough. Not at night, so that's why they're not going to come out yet. I mean, you you might get a straggler and someone who's who's got issues who pops out, but usually, babe, you're not going to get. We already hang out with each other. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're gonna end up back over there, yeah. Or actually, we're probably gonna have to hike up here now, because we're not gonna be able to get through all that brush, at least I don't want. No, thanks, babe. Then you guys obviously, well not obviously, but I'm gonna keep it recording once we get to the end turn around and come back because the views will be completely different so I want you guys to see what it looks like going both ways there's the path right there but we're gonna just cut it off a little bit right up here and you are allowed to ride your bikes on the path as you can see people walk their dogs there's another little like private bench right here you can mosey off the path for a moment and go enjoy that bench that neighborhood out there is my favorite in the whole town right there that neighborhood there today. oh cool babe mm -hmm. yeah that is my favorite if I had any qualms with this path it's that it's right next to Big Bear Boulevard, so you have to get some of the sound from the road. But other than that, this is one of the most beautiful paths in, in all of Big Bear. It's a very easy path. So for, the, for those of you who are worried about hiking and the ups and downs and just the uh, different grades of uh, expertise that you might need, this is as basic as it gets. It's flat the whole way. And here's the second portion of the bridge. Right, babe? Huh? Here's the second portion of the bridge. Yeah. The second portion of the Big Bear Bridge. That's right. Are we in England? She's going to the wrong side. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Take care. So good to be out here. See, guys, that's what I said. I haven't seen it like this since I've uh, lived up here. Summer is going to be awesome. It is. It is. And then, as you guys see, they have all these little pullouts or walkouts, whatever you want to call it, with a trash can. And it's just. A little area for you to be able to enjoy the view without worrying about the bikes running you over as you can see there's only been two bikes on the path so far and the fish are fish are jumping like crazy over here i believe those are the uh i don't know if like catfish or or no it's there's another type of fish that's a nuisance up here and the city will pay you to take them out i think they'll give you a dollar per Which, look, I eat fish, I eat meat, but 
I I feel horrible to kill these guys just because they're a nuisance. If you think about it, every fish in this damn lake is a nuisance because it's not supposed to be here. This is all like the Big Bear Lake portion is a man-made lake. So no, it's not the bass. Type in nuisance fish in Big Bear Lake. Once I hear hear the name. Carp. Carp, that's it. Carp. That's Carp. What that's what she meant. That's what that's she meant. What I in school on like tests, he's like, oh, every question, oh, well, I meant to put the right answer in. Yeah, like, you, you just erase it for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you did? Okay, I <laughs> <laughs> I identify as 100% score on my tests. <laughs> you can't go against what I identify as, so I need a perfect score. And I identify as smart. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, beautiful view over here. Gorgeous. And guys, I've been packing on the weight lately ever since I stopped my diet. It's horrible. It's not that I'm eating that much. I'm just I'm I, I mean I, I I get zero exercise. And this is good exercise, so And we're walking at 7,000 feet elevation, so that's better exercise as well. Your heart needs to work a little harder. Again, we're at one of the pullouts. What was on me? Giant fly. Oh. Yeah, it really is a great, great little area. And I think if you're walking at a normal pace without a slow person with you, you'll probably get through back and forth in 45 minutes. It's a really easy, easy walk. It's a cool island, huh, babe? <laughs> hey, Ducky! Yeah, um, it's funny that you say that because I used to think when the lake filled up that that island would go underwater. <laughs> but that's how it looks like from the road. <laughs> when you get up closer, you kind of realize it's a lot bigger than this. Does it really, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when when you're close to it, it's it's really a lot higher than it than it looks from the road, huh? Like a lot higher. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's right. Yeah. You want a handhold? No thanks, babe. Because I'm holding out camera. Here. No, forget. <laughs> Take just, notes, guys. He didn't hold my hand, and he didn't it's just, me on the kiss. It's bridge. just I keep on switching my hands to hold the camera. Because one hand gets gets super hand. super tired. <laughs> she like makes jokes that don't even make sense. <laughs> you never had a problem putting one foot in front of the other. <laughs> Babe, you're funny. A little bit dirty, but you're funny. Oh, you can drive through here. There's a gate to let in vehicles. I wonder. You know, babe, there's a plot of land that they're selling right up here, uh, right, right before you get to that Riffin Dork place. 
Riffin Burn. What's it called? The, uh, it's that place that's closed now right across from the snow play. Again, my favorite neighborhood over there. Huge houses, but what I love is it's right on this huge prairie slash lake. And from there, you, you'll have views of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain over these hills right here. It's just amazing. But keep in mind, it's, it's not always like this. Right, babe? Oh, they're so beautiful. I wish I would have got a house up there when I first moved here. Because it was so much cheaper back then. <laughs> Come on. Those two little birds up there, I don't know if you can see them, but they're having some fun together. Oh, there's three of them. Are those eagles, babe? Whoa. Man, these things really are jumping. Hawks. One and two. Wow. Three of them just jumped at the same time right there. As soon as I take the camera off the water, then they seem to jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Or is that you throwing rocks out there? <laughs> You're annoying, babe. <laughs> oh, those I can't believe you tricked me like that. <laughs> but there are carp that do jump all the time. And apparently they're doing all their jumping around and stuff like that when they're spawning. And when it's super spawn time, I mean, it's, it just looks like ripples all over the lakes. I wish there was a walking path along Baldwin like right along the lake, but that's some nasty water over there. It looks nice from afar, especially if you have property over there, it looks really nice, but it's nasty. It's disgusting water. God, what a beautiful day. Clearly we're not on a bridge anymore, but it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful path. You know what this path feels like? So growing up in Orange County, there's obviously a lot of really beautiful neighborhoods, beautiful homes, um, a lot of excess money out there, right? Some of the neighborhoods that some of my friends lived in, this reminds me of like walking paths in their neighborhoods. Just how the wood fence is built, the white rocks right alongside the fence, these little bushes on either side. It, it just kind of feels like I'm walking through parts of Koto de Kaza right now. No vehicles on Lake Bottom. Well, that's good. That would be a tragedy.
Look at the butterfly. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Hey, if you guys like what I do, hit the like and subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. It's very helpful. Um, there's other ways you can help the channel also. If you scroll down in the description of every video, um, it'll tell you how, how you can help. Everything, every bit helps. It helps a lot. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Always thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry I haven't made too many videos recently. My father is very ill, and he lives 2,500 miles away and it's been the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Um, I've cried more than I've ever cried, and I don't even think I have any tears left. So I just want you guys to know that I am gonna be okay. I might have to drop everything and fly to Florida if I get that, that message to do so. I'm planning on going in July anyway to go spend a whopping three days with my dad, because that's all I can stay away. Um, but I'm hoping I don't have to go sooner because that wouldn't, wouldn't be good. All right, so we're basically at the end here. There's a, a nice little stream. I wonder where that stream comes from. But it clearly lets out into the lake. Well, it is something, huh, babe? I'm glad we came out here. It is beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. Not a darn cloud in the sky. But there's a plane way up there. It's a little tiny plane. I mean, it's probably a big plane, but it's way up there. Check, check my phone, make sure I didn't miss anything. Of course I did. How is that even possible? I have it on the loudest volume I can get. Alright. How long, how long do you think it took us to get out here? 20 minutes. That's it, huh? You can do 35 if you go slow. That's true. And if you just sit for an hour, you could do an hour and 35. If you have a bike, probably 15 <laughs> minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, probably 10 or less. Yeah. But as I said, you guys, you can walk on, or <laughs> if you can walk on the lake, then uh, I'm going to be praying to you. But uh, you can ride your bikes on this path. I've noticed, I think, two spots where people didn't pick up after their dogs. Thank goodness for the flies. But it is frustrating, you guys, when, when they, they provide for you the poop bags for your, for your dogs. And people still just... 
are uh, jerks and don't care. How do we know it wasn't a coyote? The coyotes don't enjoy these nice trails. Okay, so this is called the Stanfield Preserve Boardwalk. Okay. The whole thing? Yeah, this, this right this, here. This yeah. walking path? Okay. Stanfield Preserve Boardwalk. And it says it's 1.6 miles out and back trail. Well, then that makes sense if it took us 25 minutes walking. Out and back, it says. Oh, it. out and back. Uh -huh. Okay. So 1.6 miles, guys, as I said, super, super easy hike. There's another hike we're going to do in a few days. It's, it's even less than this, but it's up in the hills. So it's a, it's a real, what you would consider a hike, okay? Um, and it's, uh, what is that hike called? I, I always forget. But yeah, we'll be doing that in a, a few days. Um, gosh, can't, can't remember the name. But that one's about a mile and it takes you in a big circle. Which one is it? I just said, I, where are you uh, uh, so if you, you go up Stanfield Cutoff, you turn left on North Shore and it's your first right in that parking lot. Curtis and I have hiked there twice because when he, he comes up, he always wants to hike, but he never has any time. So it's like the fastest little hike. And I think we've, we've been there once, but that's where Ray wants to go in a few days. And I figured that would be good for us because then we can work our way back up to the, to the bigger hikes again, you know? out here Boulevard, the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. I need to get a GoPro attachment for my hat so I don't have to keep on carrying it. I've got the chest mount, but that would only be at this, this high up and we wouldn't get to see the views as good as from up here. that comes through goes underneath this little road and goes right into the to this wildlife refuge lake
Well, they have a lot of these signs, no vehicles on Lake Bottom. I'm assuming when the lake's dry, people like to drive out there. That's, that's what I get from that. What do you guys think? I'm sure people aren't just driving out there and uh, sinking. Okay, so I'm assuming it's the Gmail account for the merchandise. You got it. I'll be home in about 30 minutes and I will check it out. Thank you, bro. Look at that tree. It looks like it was struck by lightning at the top or something. It's totally mangled. while we wait for Rachel because she's lagging. I'm gonna take a little detour right here just to go up to this fence. I wonder if we're allowed, you know, I've never seen a kayak out here either. So we're, we're probably not allowed to, to go out there on a kayak. How's it going guys? But it would be nice to take a little kayak out here. And I wonder why they call it a preserve, because they don't preserve this place at all. They don't keep water in here. When we have a drought, we have a drought and it's dry. These nice little turnouts here.
safe, puppy. <laughs> a fish right there a big old one that just jumped out I think I was pointing in the right direction so you guys can see it I wish I knew how to zoom in on this GoPro. But I don't. I guess I didn't give you proper notice to go on the hike. She's wearing her Birkenstocks because I told her I needed her to, to rush over because <clears throat> of time. So she's had to walk in sandals this whole time. Have you ever seen anyone kayaking in there? Nothing, right? Okay. I know there's no boats allowed, but I was thinking, man, that would be such a peaceful little area to go kayaking. Good news about the GoPro is the battery has lasted this whole time.
again here's another like hidden little bench for you to get your privacy and your own personal little spot to check out the lake I think we'll sit here for 60 seconds so you can see what it feels like to be right here Going. Hi, all right, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Oh, no. What's this red stuff in the water? It's like beads from the fall. Those beads. Okay. From the fall though? From the fall of leaves. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking fall colors, wild, wow, like they stuck around for a long time. But yeah, I guess those are leaves, aren't they? If any of you know exactly what those are, here, I'm going to try and get closer. Oh yeah, look, we can get really close. What those red leaves are, let me know. It's a really nice color in there. telling you guys you guys need to come up here and, and do this hike it's really nice it's so easy at the end of this bridge we'll be done babe come hold my hand Stop being so far back. Come hold my hand. Okay. <laughs> here, babe. Come over here. Come over here. Let's get a nice view of the kissing bridge. That was easy. Here comes a plane flying in the Big Bear Airport.
about So right across that road, you guys, that's where Big Bear Lake starts, right there, right on the other side of that road. I don't feel like I walk that fast, but my dad would say the same thing, but my dad's a lot older. And even in his, in his late 70s and early 80s, we were going to a Walt Disney World, and he, he would always get so mad at me. Be like, God, <laughs> bleep, slow down, Nicholas. <laughs> just so excited to get through life. <laughs> Life's tough. As long as I can get through it, then I'm good. Yeah, here's the uh, gazebo. Hey, yeah, guys, thank you for cruising with us. We are at the end of our route. By the way, there's there's bathrooms at the start of this little trail here. You, the way you get here is it's on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Stanfield Cutoff. Right yeah, across I the street is an AM PM, just so you know where you're at, okay? But Big Bear Boulevard and Stanfield Cutoff, nice bathrooms over here. Yeah. And, uh, I wonder if they're open. Oh yeah. Test it out. Sure, why not? Let's see if they're open, guys. Yeah, might as well do that for you guys. I'm sure it is open. These are new. Uh, I mean, yeah, but no. Okay. They've been here a few years. And then right up here, guys, that little bit of snow on the mountain you see, that's Snow Summit. It's amazing how quickly it melted once they shut down the resort. Man. But Bear Mountain, ha halfway up, all the way to the top, has a ton of snow left. I saw that. I mean, there's no dirt areas anywhere. I saw that. Yeah, it's crazy. So people really wanted to take a hike. Yeah, you could definitely hike up there, guys. There's, I, I don't think there's, there's, there's any rules against that. Yep, they're open. Look at California, guys. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get myself in trouble, so I'm just not gonna say anything. Yeah, yes. Oh, and they allow babies. Yes, they do. <laughs> There's a baby changing station in there, guys. That's also really but good. But they're non-binary babies. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna get myself in trouble, so I need to watch myself. But yeah, guys, thanks for cruising. If you guys enjoy what we do here, 
as I said, please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And as I said, there's other ways you can help out also. You can also get some merchandise at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Um, any way to support our channel would be amazing. I've worked hard at this for... I just started my 10th year. May 1st will be my 10th year and 10th winter coming up doing this channel up here. So thank you guys for all the love, all the support. Any questions you have for me, don't hesitate to ask, and hopefully we'll get some more videos going in a couple days. It's nice seeing you guys. Very, very, very nice seeing I you guys. I missed you all. I miss you all. She did, big time, you guys. So I'm really glad to have her here with us today. And uh, again, like and subscribe, share, and come up and take these hikes and, and say hi if you see me. Love you guys. Peace out.